Yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, XOXO. <laughs> Got a girl. Audra at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. All right, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. And today is another new makeup nonsense bingo. Yes, that's right. It's that time again in the birth of my month, in the month of my birth. Listen, I've already been drinking. Let's not judge. Anyway, in the month of my birth, we have another new makeup nonsense bingo. And what is new makeup nonsense bingo? You may be asking yourself if you're new here. Well, it's three things in one. It is a bingo game. It is a will I buy it. It is also a drinking game. I should, for all intents and purposes, be drinking water, but I am currently drinking coffee with a little shot of Bailey's in it. Because, because. The power's been out and I meant to film this earlier and now I'm already a little bit uh, trashed and we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the video because because. All right, so I do this video in conjunction with two of my dearest, kindest, sweetest, most wonderful friends on this platform, Teresa of Teresa is Dead and Emily Hanhan. Oh, I don't know why I haven't figured out how to do this better. I should just say Emily Hanhan and then Teresa of Teresa is Dead, so then that way it's less confusing, but it's, I always get back to Emily Hanhan of uh, Emily Hanhan. Anyways, um, but before we go ahead and get started, I do want to show you my bingo card. And I also want to go ahead and show you what items we will be working with in this episode. I can't wink because winking is not second nature to me. I haven't figured out how to mimic that. Anyway, let's go look. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen this look. I was channeling my inner Joan Jett and thirst trapping the one, the only, Melody Adams, whom I have had an internet crush on for, I don't know how long, but it's been a while. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very excited to get started with this. Uh, I don't have any other words. Let's just get, let's just jump in because mama has had two margaritas, one margarita, one other drink and one other drink. I don't remember what they were. Oh yes, before we get started, yes, it is the month of my birth. And for those of you who are wondering what, what day it was, well, I can't tell you because I was born out of the ashes of destruction, danger, and death. And here I sit before you in a YouTube video. There will be a lot of haul videos coming up, so like just, it's my birthday month. What do you want? All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and look in here and see the items that I put in versus the items that Teresa put in because of course, Teresa's are easy to identify because Teresa white knuckles the world on bright white mode. I uh, still haven't figured out how you do that, Teresa. And honestly, at first I thought that, that was gonna make me question our friendship and now I'm just like trying to understand the optimism you have in life to do this. Any who's it, let's get started. With me as always is my co-host Bo, whom you can't see, but you can definitely hear. He's chewing on his tree branch. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Give Me Glow's Vivid Rose. The palette if you want to look kind of dead, but also sexy. For legal purposes, this video is not sponsored by Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and I am not affiliated with them in any way at all, shape or form. All right, moving on. All right, to get this party started, y'all, I'm very disappointed in this. Um, this is a new palette from Salem Cosmetics. It is 
Dark Passenger has six mattes, six shimmers. It is available now for pre-order. It is obviously Dexter inspired. Um, I, mm, I'm gonna have to uh, get on it. Uh, here's the thing, here's, here's where it's gonna get weird. I don't get how this color story is Dexter. I think that if you wanna do a Dexter color story, you're gonna have to choose between like, like reds and just having like a berry palette, you know? Or like a Miami palette, like Miami and like red. And I don't feel like this is capturing that. And I also kind of wish that like on the photography, like I'm not sure who okayed it with a, like the darkly deck shadow has a deep like groove, like somebody accidentally like, which I do all the time. I do it all the time. But I'm just saying for your product photos, you might not want that to be there. M maybe, perhaps. But I don't feel like this is saying Dexter at all. Like I feel like this is um, cool. Like it's a cool idea to do a palette based off of Dexter. But I just don't feel like this encapsulates Dexter, like the show at all. I'm so sorry. Like each shade kind of, kind of falls into like Dexter, but like the palette itself, the color story doesn't make me think of Dexter. So I hope it does well for them. Good luck, but that is gonna be a, a no from me, dog. So now we're gonna move on because <laughs> Drunk Me is having way too much fun with this. All right, moving onward and forward. All right, so Nomad Cosmetics, which BT dubs, before I even get started talking about it, I did receive this palette in PR. Have you seen it yet? No. Am I trying to work on it? Also, yes, I am. Not also, no. I am trying to work on it. Um, I do like this color story. I kind of, mm, I actually kind of wish that there were more greens and blues in this. I do appreciate the pinks, but I haven't played with it yet. So we'll, like, we'll find out, you know? If you want me to play with it on camera, drop a tortoise or a turtle emoji, and I will. I will bring it to you live in charge. A look, probably be a 12 to 14 minute video, something quick. But yeah, I, I think it's pretty. I think, I like how Nomad is expanding, but also I do feel like there's a couple shades that are a little bit too close to one another, like the, and they're next to each other, which doesn't make that great, but Overall, I'm really excited. Like, I'm not really excited. I, I Overall, I'm excited for the direction that the brand is taking, and I feel like this is a cool idea. Um, it is a very big palette, though, in person. Y'all, this palette is big, and I wasn't expecting it to be as large as it was. Um, the only thing that I have against uh, larger palettes is uh, my grip strength. Like, I have issues with gripping things from time to time, and in so doing, I can... I can sometimes just like, I forget that I'm holding it. Uh, so that is problematic pour moi. But the shades are really, really beautiful and I'm looking forward to dipping into the greens and the pinks because I love playing with greens and pinks on my skin tone. Like I think it just always looks fantastic. So we'll see, we'll see. Again, tortoise, if you want, turtle, whatever. If you want to see, I don't know why I want to say tortoise so bad. If you want to see a look with this, all right. It's gonna show up on Instagram, but I'm just asking if you want it on the tubes of the U. Y'all, this collection was literally created for Teresa. <laughs> it is the Elf Dunkin' Donuts collab. <laughs> it's the way that when I saw this, I immediately thought of Teresa because Teresa is always like talking about Dunkin' Donuts. I just spit everywhere. And this collection, comes, it's like the Yummy Collection, Elf Cosmetics and Duncan. It has an eyeshadow set, a donut forget putty primer. <laughs> I can't even say this, putty primer. Strawberry Frosted with Sprinkles Face Sponge, Glaze for Days Lip Gloss Set, Coffee Lip Scrub, the Classic Duncan Stack Vault, Wake Up and Makeup Bag. If Teresa doesn't already have this, like I don't know what they're doing with her life. It's a really cute concept. Like honestly, that cup, like here's the thing though. I kind of wish that the donut, <laughs> I wish I got a donut. 
even though donuts like completely destroy my GI tract, I like to eat them from time to time. Like I know the consequences. It's the same thing with being lactose intolerant. I'm fully aware that like within 10 minutes of eating this, everything is going to go like downhill in a bad way, feet up like ha, da, 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 da. it's going to be bad, but I still do it. I still do it. And I just really like this whole concept. I think it's very, very cute. And I'm into it. Like, I just feel like, I mean, obviously it's a collab with a brand not known <laughs> for makeup because Dunkin' Donuts is known for donuts and coffee. And honestly, I've said this before, their coffee is better than Starbucks. I don't know why y'all still, buy, still buying Starbucks, but stop it because Dunkin' is better. But yeah, that looks very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's the way that my brain just turned on to realize I found this. Okay, y'all. I'm so excited for these. These I'm really, really excited for. Okay, listen, don't, listen. Let me live my best life. I know you, everybody's about to be like, don't you already have talent? Like that. Listen, I need you to mind your business and let me mind my business. Do you understand? Mind your business and let me mind my business. So Be Perfect has these gorgeous, <laughs> like listen, when I saw them, I was like, oh, it's for me, like I felt like um, it was deliberate. I felt like they were calling out to me. They were like, Audra, we want you to have this thing. Please hold while I find it. I'm scrolling. <sighs> Y'all, that took all of my energy, but I found it, okay? <laughs> I was like sitting there like, when did this happen? Cause there's a lot of releases that happened in between when we last did new makeup nonsense and now, so it takes a little bit for me to scroll there. But Be Perfect Cosmetics has the Compass of Creativity collection. It has four eyeshadow palettes, North Nudes, which I'm not interested in, right? South Smolders, yes, all right? And then it's like East Emerald, also, yes, give it to me, okay? And then West Waters, uh -huh, pour it over my body. And then the whole collection is like 50 bucks. Um, each palette has eight mattes and one shimmer. Now, I know that you're saying to yourself, Audra, don't you have the blend bunny? And couldn't you, listen, shh, shh. Sweetie, we're not here to discuss. I have a channel in which I play with makeup and I feel confident that I want to play with it. Anyways, the one I'm actually most interested in though is obviously the purpley blue one. Like, and the green, obviously. The green and the purpley blue. Ugh. The West, whatever, and the, I can't see. The green and the purple, we're gonna say that. They look gorgeous. The woman, like, the model has a shag haircut. Like, it's, we're back in the 70s. Cherry pop! All right, I'm trying not to like be too loud because I don't want to fuck up my neighbors because I'm sure it's 9.49 and I'm sure they're tired and they have a child and I'm screaming in here while I film. So like, mm, I am down for it. I've never actually bought anything from Be Perfect Cosmetics. Y'all, let me know below, is anything good? What's good? The thing is, it almost makes more sense to get all of them, like the $50, because just getting two of them is like $40. Am I incorrect? Because six, 17 plus 17, round up, 34. And there's four of them. So 34 and 34 is 68. So the math is in fact mathing. And it's better to just get like all of them and I'd rather just like give away something. Oh my God, I don't know why I said that. Audra, you know giveaways just give you so much stress. We will see, we will see. But like, so Lunar Beauty um, is releasing their nude prism collection with the blushes and the palette. And I'm not gonna lie. I thought that that was a color pop palette. You need to leave. Don't come for me. Manny, don't send your squad. I didn't do anything to you. I, I thought it was. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't be mad at me. And like, ooh, I don't, mm, on the blush palette, like, oh. First of all, I'm not into nudes. I know that this super berry cherry bomb look cherry bomb! look is telling you otherwise, but like I'm not I'm not really into like a like even this is like this is all like every day I'm getting closer and closer to becoming Maria Brink, but like uh, black Maria Brink, like Audra Maria Audra Brink, and 
I, this isn't my aesthetic, right? If you like neutrals, you do you, right? The blush palette, I, mm, I feel like, uh, I can't, oh, I don't feel like, mm, I don't, oh. That was a lot of sound effects. <laughs> I just don't feel like, I feel like there's two shades, maybe three in here that I'd actually play with. And I know I probably said that about the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, palette as well. And I use that like every fucking day. I shit you not. I know it's on the no, no, it's on the no fly list and I'm using it anyway, but it's just not for me. Like Manny, I wish you all the best. It's just like not my cup of tea. And I, I am going to have to call this a copycat. Like, like a, like, what is it? Is it copycat? What is up? It's editing me. This is this is where uh, things get a little like I start whispering. I feel like at this point I was really drunk, mostly sleepy, but like a little drunk. So this portion gets a little I go drink water at some point in time. I don't know if I say it in here, but like I this is going to be discombobulated. So just prepare yourself. It's a little bumpy ride. A little bit wild. <laughs> Melt Cosmetics introducing us to the Gemini 2. I am confusion. Is there one that's rosy and then one that isn't rosy? So there's the Gemini and the Gemini too. My memory for this, horrible. All right, so it's $58. It's already available to you. I, I think I am good. Um, one, because I do have... I have not said words. I've literally been trying to think of the name of the butterfly palette. Holy shit. The way that I just literally sat here and like made sounds and movements. It was like, you know what I'm talking about. Hold on. The, uh, uh, I, it's over here. Hold on. So personally, since I have the Amor y Mariposas, palette I feel like I'm good like I don't I know that that sounds weird to say but like I do feel like I'm good I feel like I have a lot of the earthy shades if you have this palette I feel like you're you're good fam like you may not have necessarily the goldy gold gold that you want this looks fucking pristine I need to play with it again but like yeah I feel like I'm good I have this one and I've already like overextended myself on some bullshit. But like, I think that if you don't have these tones and you want them, and I have heard from various sources that this is the good melt formula, then you should pick it up. I, you know what, here's, I'd probably buy it if I was drunk. Well, no, I wouldn't because I'm drunk now and I wouldn't buy it. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, I'd rather not, you know? We are going to take a pee break. Um, listen, if you are disabled, there are slots on either side of the screen for you to use the restroom. If you need any assistance getting there, please dial zero and an attendant will be to you as quickly as is humanly possible. I'll be back. Sorry. So moving on into our little polite here. Okay, y'all. Mm. <laughs> so... This is a weird one for me, okay? Please don't get mad at me. Also, get mad at me if you want to, I don't care. So, <laughs> so Kendall and Kylie have released a collection numero dos, right? Um, and here's the thing, I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it because I feel like, honestly, they should have, like, it's obviously two different personalities and it, they could have just made two palettes, like a Kendall palette and a Kylie palette, and that would have made it like top tier, sir, sir, with the bone. But I like the right hand side of the palette as I see it. I don't know how you see it. You might see it opposite wise on your screen. I like that side. You know what I mean? Like that side is tits. I'm, I'm for it. I'm like, yes, let me live my best life. But like the other side is just like beige boringness. And I feel like um, 
like drunk me would buy this like I don't have any money right now so like I can't buy it but drunk me would like be like okay because like the 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 grungy side is making it interesting it's like the other side makes it like Bleh. but the grungy side like the right hand side the right hand six makes it interesting sir Cleona Cosmetics has the dragon fruit collection and when I tell you like, holy shit, he's gonna pull me off this chair. I'm gonna disappear. <laughs> um, this fruit lighter looks fucking, they look stunning. I am losing it. Boy, give it to me, give it to me. Give me the triceratops. I'm so happy with Bo, uh-uh, we cannot. We cannot. You can't have that right now. I love you so much, but like, no. You can't have it. You can have this ball, have this ball, have the chuck it, cause the chuck it isn't noisy. You're also gonna wake up the neighbors. I love you so much. Anyways, these highlighters giving me so much life. I want to put them, I wanna put it all in my, this is definitely all the multi-chromes. Stunning, I'm loving the brush collection, mainly because I feel like the brushes, with the exception of DF6, are small detail brushes, which I live for. I live for a small detail brush. As many of you know, I do enjoy drawing my makeup on my face. I don't necessarily like blend like everybody else blends. I just can't, like my mind doesn't work like that. But like I am, ugh, I am dying. These are so beautiful. These are all the multicrums. So like, ugh. I wanna kiss you all over. And over and again. Listen, I put on a very specific mix when I'm working in a certain area of town so that I don't get hate crimed. And that like saves me. So like now I'm gonna share that with you. <laughs> to the night closes in. And I want it. I I want it. I want it. <sighs> Set. 18 dual hands, $18, bitch, yeah. The cosmetics bag is $14. The brush set is $32. It's, avail it's available in time for my birthday on their website. I'm buying this, yes. All the multi-chromes, I'm buying it, it, period. Period, that can go for two things, you know what I mean? I want it, I wanna live my life. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, I wanted to, I put it, I like, I don't, I didn't put it in here. I think I wanted to put it in here. Anyways, the point is that She Glam has released Sunday Picnic. So here's the thing. If you have not Googled the history of a picnic, then you won't understand why I'm completely disgusted by this. Um, first of all, <laughs> Um, I, listen, black people, let me know if you'll be at a picnic, okay? Uh, I just, I don't, it's, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not living for this. And here's the thing, in 2022, knowing what we know about the history of things, um, I just don't feel like it's a good idea to call your collection a picnic. You know what I mean? Like that's, are y'all okay? Like I, <laughs> um, I'm not into it for reasons. Uh, <laughs> if you want to buy it, more power to you. We will not have any problems. But for me, a person of color, this is a uh, full on hardcore no go for me. I, I don't feel comfortable having a collection of makeup in my home um, named after a picnic. Uh, the color story, hella boring. Um, yeah. Next up is what everybody's been talking about is the Patrick Ta. Listen, I don't want to be the person who tells you this, but like I, um, 
First of all, I already have, which I showed you earlier, the Vivid Rose palette. So like I'm good on like kind of neutral berry-ish tones. I also feel like the majority of the tones in this palette will not do well on deep skin. I am really, really conscious of that because I'm a brown person. Now there are light skinned black people who can wear this palette and look glamorous and gorgeous, but I am brown and <laughs> because I am brown, I I don't see the benefit in like the the thing is it's like half of this palette sure I could wear that neutral nudes whatever if I wanted to but the other half of it is just like a, a no go and I it, yeah I'm just not into it like I just want here's the thing I want a neutral slash nude palette for someone who has deep skin where I can use all of the shades and look glamorous. I do not want to spend $68 to not be able to use one, two, three, and I don't love that there's like cream shit on the edge. So there's already three shades I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use the two creams. It's five. I'm not going to spend $68 for shimmers for like a, basically it's a palette of shimmers and like two two matte shadows. I'm not now, into it. So the like, next thing that we're going to go ahead and talk about is how Dose of Colors decided to be extra boring and they were like, we're going to release another one um, or two, excuse me, of these five pan palettes and um, they're going, <laughs> they're going to be baked browns because for summer, we want to be bo boring. Ooh, the train. Okay, that was really exciting. Back into it. Um, yeah, I just feel like uh, this isn't my cup of tea. Mainly, like I said, it's summer and I just don't understand how we're gonna be boring as fuck for summer. Or is that, I thought we were gonna be cool for the, cruel for the summer, but not boring. And I feel like, especially considering that they've decided that uh, COVID is over. Uh, I feel like very few people want to go out like being as basic as possible. It's been years, you know what I mean? I don't feel like this is a good release for right now. Sir, come here. Give that to me. Can I have that one too? All right. Up next we have, y'all, I absolutely cannot. <laughs> I, I'm already losing my shit like looking at it, like not in a good way. I'm losing my shit in a bad way. There is a Powerpuff Girls collection and I, I don't... <laughs> Y'all, here's the thing, the, the, the reason that I'm upset, okay, um, the reason that my heart is like, ugh, is because <laughs> it's, it's revolution, so obviously we're definitely gonna call this makeup revolution go away, but here's what's killing me, is like the, each eyeshadow palette, I don't know who decided that the pans needed to be like all fucking askew, no, please set me on fire and let me die a slow death. I, I can't deal with it. One has, and, and there's just so much empty space. And then you have the tri, oh my god, the triangle one is like the absolute worst because it's just like chicka 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 choo choo. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Please like throw it into the trash. Like I love the Powerpuff Girls, right? It was a good time. I used, you know, we would, when we were raving, one of us would all, like we would all choose a Powerpuff Girl that we were. I know it doesn't make sense, but it did make sense when you were on drugs. So the thing is, I don't understand the point behind it. I like the little individual palettes. They're not bad. Like the blue and the pink and the green, like that's cute. But like these, this like big ass palette, like no, please throw that in the trash um, and never let it be seen again like ever, like throw it in the garbage. That whole thing is a mess. It is upsetting to the eye um, uh, and to me as a species. Yes, I, Audra, am a species. Um, you can also be classified in species Audra. Uh, if you'd like to be, just go ahead and drop a black heart in the comments below and I will include you in the species. But yeah, uh, the palettes are cute. I feel like the liner is cute. Um, I just, I hate, <laughs> I hate it. The lip glosses are cute. Like the eye patches are uh, adorable, but like, I don't know what's going on with that weird, big ticky tack, 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 ticky tack, tack, tack palette. Not into it. All right, let's do a couple more and then we are going to retire 
to the bedroom, I mean, I'm gonna retire to the bedroom and you're gonna do whatever it is that you do. As Earth Day is in April, there is a Rainforest palette from Pink Crush Cosmetics. This one is really cute. I think what I like about this is it kind of gives me like this, um, like a good feeling. It's like grungy and green and earth toned, but without being like super boring, like I do kind of wish that they hadn't have put like that sad beige shade in there, but they also have the How Marlowe Can You Go palette that's coming out as well. So you have Wine, which I think I talked about that in the last one. And then you also have the Rainforest. And I like this one. I think it's cute. I think that like, it's again, it's, it's an earthy palette. We've seen these before. It's not new. But I think it's really pretty and I really like the shade Flora, which I don't know why it's called Flora and it's red, but we'll move past that. I just think that it's a nice palette. Like for those of you who like neutrals with a little pop of like in there, you got some. It, it Like is it mostly like kind of an Anne palette? Like yes. But is it like an Anne palette with a little panache? Maybe. All right, we have time for two more things and then I for sure to bed with me because Y'all, things have gone awry. Ooh, y'all, okay, listen. Luxie, Luxie Beauty is on their bullshit. They are on a bullshit. I am very excited because, because, because. <laughs> I haven't been checking for Luxie in a little bit, but then I saw these swatches and I was like, bitch, yeah, put this on me. Put these on my face. Cause like the thing about Luxie is if you are new to the indie beauty scene, you are new to in like individual, like single shadows, this is the place where you go to get started. And I say that as someone who also got started using Luxie Beauty because it allows you to buy a lot without a lot of regret. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. I don't mean that as a slight against Luxie Lu Beauty or a slight towards any other brand that's more expensive. But the only way that I was able to like move towards buying Terra Moons or Davina and like spending more money on a single shadow was because I had the opportunity to play with the Luxie Beauty shadows and having done so, I was like, oh, okay, these are really, really pretty. This is fun. I'm having a good time. I realized I enjoyed building my own palette, like all of that kind of stuff. And I feel like if you want to do that, Luxie Beauty is the way to go. It's $3 each for each shadow, that's what I'm talking about, or $30 for the bundle, and that's 10 shadows. So like, I would highly recommend that if you're like new to indie beauty, indie makeup, any of that kind of stuff, like this is a good place to start, because again, you're not spending a ton of money, but you're getting a lot of impact, and it gives you like the idea if you want to be like more interested in playing with more indie shadows, this is the way to go, otherwise like, you know, you play, you buy these, you spend $30, you discover that like, that's not really your cup of tea, but you still have these beautiful shadows and you're happy, but you found out early with, before you went through Cleona, you went, you did Dafina, you did Adept, before you went to like these higher echelons, Shine by SD, Lethal, before you go up there, you know, you hung out down here and you were like, this is nice. And I don't mean down here in a bad way. Again, I'm doing a bad job of explaining this bow, I swear. I'm so sorry, y'all. He's on his bullshit because he wants me to cuddle with him, so he's making a lot of noise. But yes, I'm digging these. Um, and I put this in here because I was like, yes. Come here. Okay. Fairy Tales is what it's called, by the way. Fairy, as in Faye, F-A-E-R-I-E. So yeah, I'm digging that. I'm for it, and we're gonna do uno mas tiempo, porque I'm ready for bed. <laughs> to end this delightful party. Wet n Wild has collaborated with my dear friends, the Care Bear. Yes, you heard me right. I may be the reigning royalty of darkness and all bats and creatures, spiders included, but also I have a soft spot in my heart for the Care Bears. You know, you like hats? I'm mad about hats. Listen, I love the Care Bears, okay? I love the Care Bears. The amount of you who tagged me in this, Love you. I would love to get every ounce of this. I know I don't have the money to do so, but I want like every single piece of this collection. I fucking love the Care Bears. I wanna live my life. 
in like a beautiful Care Bear world where caring truly is sharing. Unfortunately, we live in today's world where people don't, don't care about sharing. But it's so cute because like you can get the entire collection box and it's $85, right? There's a primer serum, a highlighter, bronzer, like live, laugh, hug, blush. I'm sure, I'm sure that it's not gonna be the right shade. Do I care? No. Am I gonna wear it anyway and look like a monster? You're damn right. Do I care if I look undead if I'm wearing Care Bear stuff? No. Did I buy that Violet Voss, I believe, Care Bear collection and it doesn't look super fantastic and it's just like kind of okay, but it's Care Bears? Yes, because that's who I am as a person. I Like there's so much shit in here though. There's so much shit. I want every ounce of it. I'm so excited. Like don't, don't come for me. Don't be the person who rains on my parade and says, well, actually, this sucks. You know, I don't care if it sucks. That's not the point. The point is that the Care Bears are finally getting the recognition that they deserve. The Care Bears are bae. The Care Bears teach us so much about life. And also, that's how I was like initiated into horror, was through Care Bear movies, all right? I'm gonna like play this little clip for you and you'll see what I'm talking about. Stop. Please don't. Close because that left a mark on me as a human being. Also, I hope you like this little jacket I've been wearing because I just bought it today because I went to eat with my mom and it was gonna be chilly inside of the restaurant and I was like, oh, well we gotta put on a jacket cause <laughs> a bitch is kinda naked. All right y'all, that is it. Let me go on to editing me and editing me. Can you let me know if we hit any form of bingo? And also, since you're sober, can you let me know if I look good or not? <laughs> Thanks. First of all, bitch, you look amazing. Makeup on point. Love the like forked wing. Just mwah, you're killing it. Uh, we definitely did not hit bingo. Um, not for lack of trying, uh, the alcohol, I feel, played a huge part in our ability to play the game properly. We should definitely not be already drunk when we start filming this. That should be a rule, um, especially considering we really hadn't had anything to drink most of the week, so that was a mistake. Uh, but yeah, there, there, there was no bingo. I will show you the card now. Uh, wah, wah, sad face, but... Yeah, you're killing the game. You look amazing. Mwah. All right, y'all, that is it. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure you go and check out both of my dear friends, Teresa and Emily's videos, which are both linked in the description, description box B. Low. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a flavor and give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can do what she does best, which is push me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what? Whatever the fuck I want to. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays. Yeah. Without which I truly would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs. To all of you who watch, like, share, and subscribe, I appreciate you as well. And remember, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, listen, normally I'd be snatching it, but at this point in time, I want to remind you that it is Autism Awareness Month and as such, please remember that autism doesn't look like just one thing. Remove your perceptions. Until next time, XOXO, gotha girl. <laughs> Listen, this is gonna be all over the place because I've already been drinking. I don't know Manny personally. Manny's not gonna show up to my house and be like, how fucking dare you? Manny's not gonna hop in my DMs and be how fucking dare you? Manny's not gonna send me shit. So like, I feel how I feel about it. We now have a square for I'd rather not. And I, I'm happy for that. And for all of you who want a little, le, 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 wow. uh, and there's also a new square that is, I'm buying it for science. I'm buying it for science. <laughs> all right, now back into the video. <laughs> listen, listen, 
I know that you're like, we're waiting for you to speak and currently I have nothing to say. Fruit lighter? Oh my God. <laughs> Baby, give that to me. Give me your triceratops, give me your triceratops. Give it to me. Anyways, as I struggle to hold on to it um, so that Bo doesn't squeak it. Oh my God, I'm super drunk. 